Jack Webb, born John Randolph Webb on April 2, 1920, in Santa Monica, California, had a profound influence on the world of television. Raised in a working-class family, his father was a public service worker, and his mother a housewife, Webb's interest in entertainment began at an early age. As a child, he would often listen to the police radio and became fascinated with the work of law enforcement. Webb's upbringing played a significant role in shaping his career. He attended Belmar Junior High School and later Santa Monica High School, where he developed a love for music and drama. After graduating, Webb briefly pursued a career in music before turning to acting. One of Webb's earliest influences was his high school drama teacher, Sylvia Bernstein. Under her guidance, Webb discovered his passion for acting and began performing in local theater productions. After serving in the Army Air Forces during World War II, Webb returned to Los Angeles and began his career in earnest. Webb's big break came in 1949 when he was cast in the film He Walked by Night. The film's gritty, realistic portrayal of police work resonated with Webb, and he became determined to create a television show that explored the subject in greater depth. In 1951, Webb created Dragnet, a groundbreaking police procedural that became one of the most popular and enduring shows in television history. The show's distinctive style, characterized by its spare, documentary-like approach and deadpan humor, was a direct reflection of Webb's own sensibilities. Webb's influence extended beyond Dragnet. He went on to create and star in other classic shows, including Adam-12 and Emergency. His contributions to television helped to establish the police procedural as a popular genre and paved the way for future shows such as Law & Order and CSI. Despite his success, Webb remained a private and enigmatic figure. He was known for his intense work ethic and unwavering dedication to his craft. His legacy continues to resonate with audiences today, a testament to his enduring influence on the world of television. Jack Webb was a renowned writer, actor, and producer, best known for creating and starring in the classic TV show Dragnet. Do you have a cherished memory associated with Jack Webb or his work? Which of his shows or films do you hold closest to your heart? Webb's career spanned several decades, and he left a lasting impact on the entertainment industry. From Dragnet to Adam-12, his shows were known for their realistic portrayal of law enforcement. Perhaps you have a personal experience related to Jack Webb or his work that you'd like to share. We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Throughout this video, we'll be sharing many funny, shocking, and sad facts about Jack Webb, so be sure to keep watching. Did you know that Webb was also an accomplished jazz musician, or that he served in the military during World War II? So, whether you're a longtime fan of Jack Webb, or just discovering his work, we hope you'll join us in celebrating this classic star. What do you cherish most about Jack Webb and his contributions to the entertainment industry? Let us know in the comments below. As a young boy, Jack Webb found solace in the world of radio. He would spend hours listening to various programs, captivated by the stories and performances. One day, while visiting his grandparents, he discovered an old radio in their attic. With a newfound curiosity, he figured out how to power it on and began tuning into different stations. It was during this time that he realized his passion for storytelling and entertaining through the airwaves. Webb's family encouraged his creative pursuits. His mother, a former silent film actress, introduced him to the magic of cinema. He was enthralled by the power of visual storytelling and started writing and producing small skits for his family and friends. His father, a retired police officer, inspired him to create a police procedural drama that would accurately depict the lives of law enforcement officers. In high school, Webb joined the drama club and participated in various school productions. After graduation, he pursued a career in radio broadcasting, eventually transitioning to writing and producing for television. His innovative approach to storytelling and commitment to authenticity set a new standard for the industry and solidified his place as a pioneer in the world of entertainment. Throughout his career, Webb remained dedicated to his craft, constantly pushing boundaries and exploring new ways to tell stories. His passion for radio, film, and television left an indelible mark on the entertainment landscape and continues to resonate with audiences today. Jack Webb was born on April 2, 1920, in Santa Monica, California. His childhood was impacted by the divorce of his parents when he was just four years old. Webb's mother worked as a bookkeeper to support the family, and his father was largely absent from his life. As a young man, Webb developed an interest in radio broadcasting. He began his career in the industry as an announcer for local stations in California. During World War II, 
Webb served in the United States Army Air Forces, where he worked as a radio operator and gunner on B-26 bombers. After the war, Webb returned to California and resumed his work in radio. He eventually transitioned to television, where he became known for his role as Sergeant Joe Friday on the classic police drama Dragnet. The show, which Webb created and produced, was notable for its realistic portrayal of police work and its minimalist style. Webb's experiences in radio and the military had a significant influence on his career as a writer and producer. He was known for his attention to detail and his commitment to authenticity. Webb's work on Dragnet helped to establish the police procedural genre and paved the way for countless other shows in the same vein. Throughout his career, Webb continued to work in both radio and television, creating and producing a variety of shows and films. He passed away on December 23, 1982, but his legacy lives on in the many classic shows and films he created. Jack Webb, a writer known for his classic Dragnet, faced numerous challenges early on. Born April 2, 1920, in Santa Monica, California, Webb's journey was marked by financial struggles and industry skepticism. Raised in a modest household, Webb's passion for writing led him to pursue a career in Hollywood. However, he encountered significant resistance due to his unconventional storytelling approach, favoring realism over dramatic flair. Despite these setbacks, Webb remained steadfast in his vision. He took on various jobs, from radio announcer to television producer, to support his writing. His determination paid off when Dragnet premiered in 1951, becoming an instant hit. Dragnet's success was a testament to Webb's resilience. The show's unique blend of real-life police work and minimalistic dialogue set it apart from other crime dramas. Webb's innovative style not only overcame industry skepticism, but also redefined the genre. Webb's financial struggles also served as a catalyst for his creativity. With limited resources, he learned to maximize his budget, often using practical effects and simple sets. This cost-effective approach became a signature style, adding to the show's authenticity. In conclusion, Jack Webb's early challenges served as stepping stones to his success. His resilience and creative solutions to financial struggles and industry skepticism etched his place in television history. Jack Webb, a prominent figure in American television, is known for his creation of the classic series Dragnet. His portrayal of Sergeant Joe Friday remains iconic, even earning him a place on a 44 U.S. commemorative postage stamp in 2009. Webb's career included a recurring role on emergency. However, a disagreement with the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department led to his character, Officer Vince, transitioning from the LASD to a generic police department. The revoking of rights to use LASD logos and imagery followed this dispute. The Scribner Encyclopedia of American Lives, Volume 1, 1981-1985, provides a comprehensive biography of Webb. This resource offers an in-depth look at the life and career of this influential writer and actor. In summary, Jack Webb's contributions to television continue to resonate today. His creation of Dragnet and portrayal of Sergeant Joe Friday have left an indelible mark on American television history. After serving in the Army Air Forces during World War II, Jack Webb turned to acting and writing. His breakthrough moment came with the radio show Dragnet, which he created in 1949. The show's innovative approach, using a realistic and deadpan delivery, set it apart from other radio dramas. Webb's portrayal of Sergeant Joe Friday, a no-nonsense detective, became iconic. When Dragnet made the transition to television in 1951, it was a groundbreaking move. The show's emphasis on realism, including actual police procedures and cases, was a first in television history. Webb's meticulous attention to detail, from the dialogue to the set design, earned him praise from both peers and critics. Collaborator and actor Ben Alexander, who played Friday's partner officer Frank Smith, noted Jack's dedication to authenticity was unparalleled. He wanted everything to be just right, from the way we spoke to the way we carried ourselves. Dragnet quickly became a cultural phenomenon, with its catchphrases and realistic portrayal of police work becoming part of the American lexicon. The show's success led to Webb's creation of other classic television shows, such as Adam-12 and Emergency. Webb's impact on television and storytelling can still be felt today. His dedication to realism and attention to detail paved the way for future police procedurals and television dramas. As TV Guide critic Cleveland Amory once said, Jack Webb's Dragnet was not only a turning point in radio and television history, but also in the way we perceive the world around us. 
Jack Webb, the creator of the classic show Emergency, based the character John Gage on Battalion Chief Jim Page. Page played a crucial role in establishing the firefighter paramedic program for the lack of. Although Webb wanted to name the character after Page, he declined. Sadly, Page passed away on September 4, 2004, and Randolph Mantooth, one of the show's stars, spoke at his memorial, in addition to his work on Emergency. Webb was a huge baseball fan. He chose badge number 714 for Sergeant Friday in his earlier show Dragnet, inspired by Babe Ruth's 714 career home runs. Webb's career in film and television started with his first credited appearance as Lee Whitey White in the film He Walked by Night. His passion for storytelling and attention to detail shone through in his work, leaving a lasting impact on the entertainment industry. Webb's legacy continues to resonate with audiences today, inspiring new generations of writers and filmmakers. Jack Webb, the creator of the classic TV show Dragnet, had a unique approach to his work. He was known for his meticulous attention to detail and his dedication to authenticity. This is reflected in the show's realistic portrayal of police work, which was based on real-life cases and procedures. Webb's own experiences as a radio operator in the Army Air Forces during World War II influenced his work. He was fascinated by the idea of portraying the everyday lives of ordinary people, and this is evident in the show's focus on the work of everyday police officers. Dragnet was also influenced by Webb's interest in the documentary format. He wanted the show to have a straightforward, no-nonsense style, and he used a distinctive, matter-of-fact narration to convey this. This approach helped to set Dragnet apart from other police dramas of the time and has contributed to its enduring popularity. Webb's worldview was also reflected in the show's themes of law and order, duty, and individual responsibility. He believed in the importance of upholding the law and in the value of hard work and dedication. These themes are woven throughout the show and give it a sense of moral purpose. In conclusion, Jack Webb's unique approach to his work, influenced by his own experiences and worldview, helped to make Dragnet a classic of its genre. His dedication to authenticity, his interest in the documentary format, and his focus on everyday people and themes of law and order all contributed to the show's enduring appeal. After his divorce from singer Julie London, Jack Webb and London remained close friends until his death in 1982. When Webb created the series Emergency, in 1972, London was his first choice for the role of Nurse Dixie McCall and her second husband, Bobby Troop, was cast as Dr. Joe Early. Both accepted the roles, contributing to the show's success. Throughout his career, Webb was known for his charity work, particularly his efforts to support widows and children of police officers killed in the line of duty. His philanthropy extended beyond his personal interests, demonstrating his commitment to giving back to the community. Webb's portrayal of Sergeant Joe Friday in Dragnet left a lasting impact on popular culture. The LAPD was so pleased with the show that they gave Webb a detective's badge with Friday's number on it and named two buildings on their police academy after him. The Jack Webb Recruit Building and Mark 7 were a testament to Webb's positive relationship with the LAPD and his contribution to the portrayal of police work in media. However, the Webb building was demolished in 2015 during the Academy's renovation. Webb's impact on the world of television and film was significant, leaving behind a legacy that continues to resonate today. His classic shows, such as Dragnet, remain popular and his philanthropic efforts are still remembered. Jack Webb, a writer who left an indelible mark on the television industry, created the classic show Dragnet. This groundbreaking series, known for its realistic and straightforward approach, greatly influenced the industry. Webb's distinctive storytelling technique, which prioritized authenticity and detail, set a new standard for crime dramas. One of the most notable aspects of Dragnet was its commitment to realism. Webb, a former police officer, insisted on accuracy and attention to detail. This approach resonated with audiences who found the show's depiction of police work refreshing and engaging. As television critic Tom Shales noted, Webb's Dragnet was a game changer, proving that realism could be as compelling as any other genre. Webb's influence extended beyond Dragnet. His production company, Mark 7 Limited, produced several other successful series, including Adam 12 and Emergency. These shows continued Webb's commitment to realism and detail further solidifying his reputation as a pioneering writer and producer. The impact of Jack Webb's work is still felt today. Modern crime dramas such as Law & Order and CSI owe a debt to Webb's innovative storytelling techniques. His dedication to authenticity 
and detail has become a hallmark of the genre, inspiring countless writers and producers. In the words of actor and director Harry Morgan, who worked with Webb on Dragnet and December Bride, Jack Webb was a true original. His contribution to television is immeasurable. Indeed, Webb's influence on the industry and his enduring impact on storytelling ensure his place as a legendary figure in the world of television. Meanwhile, the popular TV show Adam 12 was produced by the writer Jack Webb, who was also behind another hit show, Dragnet. Interestingly, in an episode of Emergency, Gage mentioned missing an episode of Adam 12, which was his favorite TV show. However, this created a contradiction since the paramedics had met officers Malloy and Reed from Adam 12 in more than one episode. In his film Pete Kelly's Blues, the writer's fingers were visibly stained yellow from nicotine in close-ups, a result of his heavy smoking habit. He even advertised Chesterfields for several years on the Dragnet radio program. When the Dragnet revival was in the planning stages, the writer had originally planned on bringing in his former co-star Ben Alexander to reprise his role as Officer Frank Smith. However, Alexander was appearing on the ABC series The Felony Squad, and that network would not let him out of his contract to appear on the revival. The writer then chose Harry Morgan to reprise his role of Officer Bill Gannon from the earlier series. Jack Webb, the writer, was known for his work on the classic show Dragnet. However, his life extended beyond the realm of television production. Webb was a passionate supporter of various philanthropic causes. Throughout his life, Webb was an avid supporter of law enforcement agencies. This passion was reflected in his work as he often portrayed police officers in his shows. Webb believed in the importance of recognizing the contributions of law enforcement officers and often used his platform to highlight their work. Webb was also a supporter of military veterans. He believed in giving back to those who had served their country and often used his influence to raise awareness for veterans' issues. Webb's support for veterans extended beyond just words, as he was also involved in various charitable organizations that provided assistance to former service members. In addition to his philanthropic efforts, Webb had a deep appreciation for American history. He was particularly interested in the history of law enforcement and often incorporated historical facts into his shows. Webb's passion for history was evident in his meticulous attention to detail when it came to the props and set design for his shows. Webb's personal values and interests were deeply intertwined with his work. His support for law enforcement and military veterans, as well as his appreciation for American history, all informed the stories he told and the characters he created. Through his work, Webb was able to make a lasting impact on the entertainment industry and beyond. Meanwhile, in the classic TV show Dragnet, Sergeant Joe Friday, played by Jack Webb, was a fixture on the small screen. Interestingly, for the sake of continuity, Friday and his partner Gannon always wore the same outfits in every episode. According to Harry Morgan, he and the writer decided to switch coats for one scene to see if anyone noticed, and because only Morgan was in the scene, no one on the set realized it until the scene had been shot. In addition, the writer was concerned about new viewers catching the series in the middle, so he made sure to establish the city of Los Angeles and introduce his character in every title. However, this approach was not very efficient, as they couldn't figure out how to record a clip and use it for every show. So the orchestra had to play the intro credits music all over again every week. This was apparent when, one week, they had no such intro music, and the explanation was that there was a musician's strike. Furthermore, Julie London, who starred alongside Friday, would often read her scripted dialogue from a teleprompter situated just off camera, a practice the writer had developed for Dragnet as a means to save production time. In London's case, it was a concession, so she would not have to memorize large pieces of the script. Jack Webb, the writer, left an indelible mark on the television industry with his classic show, Dragnet. This groundbreaking series, with its distinctive documentary style, and deadpan humor revolutionized the police procedural genre. Webb's meticulous attention to detail and commitment to realism set a new standard for crime dramas. His innovative approach to storytelling has inspired countless writers and producers in the industry. The legacy of Dragnet can be seen in numerous contemporary shows that prioritize authenticity and complex characters. Webb's work has shown that realistic portrayals of law enforcement can resonate with audiences and stand the test of time. As for his future contributions, Webb's influence continues to shape the industry. His dedication to research and authenticity has become a hallmark of quality television. Aspiring professionals would do well to study his work and adopt his commitment to excellence.
Webb's advice for those looking to break into the industry is simple. Be prepared to work hard and never compromise on quality. He believed that success comes from a combination of talent, perseverance, and a deep understanding of the craft. In his own words, television is a medium of communication. If it doesn't communicate, it's nothing. In addition, Webb emphasized the importance of staying true to one's vision. He famously fought against network executives who wanted to water down the realism of Dragnet. This tenacity and dedication to his artistic vision earned him respect from his peers and solidified his place in television history. Finally, Webb encouraged aspiring professionals to learn from their failures. He believed that setbacks and challenges were opportunities for growth and improvement. By embracing these moments and learning from them, writers and producers can develop the resilience needed to succeed in the industry. In conclusion, Jack Webb's legacy continues to inspire and influence the television industry. His commitment to realism, quality, and artistic vision serves as a shining example for aspiring professionals. By following his advice and embracing the challenges of the craft, the next generation of writers and producers can create their own indelible marks on the industry. Let's discuss Jack Webb's impressive work and lasting legacy. As the creator of the classic series Dragnet, Webb revolutionized police dramas with his realistic approach and attention to detail. His passion for law enforcement was evident in his writing, shaping the genre in profound ways. Dragnet wasn't Webb's only success, though. He also starred in and produced Adam-12, another influential police drama. Through these shows, Webb demonstrated his commitment to authenticity and storytelling, leaving a lasting impact on the entertainment industry. What are your thoughts on Jack Webb's contributions to television? Have you watched Dragnet or Adam-12? What do you think makes his work so enduring? Share your memories and opinions in the comments below. If you enjoyed this deep dive into this classic, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content celebrating the creative minds that have shaped entertainment. Your support helps us continue to create engaging and informative content for you to enjoy. Let's keep the conversation